my friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you a plan with me. We're using the brand new Avalon 9th with my cocoa and fluff on the front planner. So this is the very first, no, second, sorry, it's the second week. The first week is here. Second week is uh, once more with love. So we are going to use this Hello Beautiful kit from Once More With Love. And it's going to look a little weird because of my lights. Um, I don't think I can really turn anything off. Maybe let me see if this one will make a difference because she uses that semi glossy paper. Maybe that'll be a little bit better so that you can see the colors a little bit better. So see how it's got like that shine to it, but it's not, it's not like the same as Scribble Prince Co. It's not as shiny as that. I think you can actually write on this pretty well. I don't usually use kits from Once More With Love because um, she doesn't really do a ton of kits. I have a ton of her like little characters and stuff, but this one just cracked me up. I love all little butts everywhere, butts. I got the kit. So I got like a whole kit of this stuff. I hauled it. It. you probably saw it already but there's that page this page one of the things about once more with love is there are not a whole lot of pages here so you do not have a ton of functionals you know, a lot of glitter headers and some like little things here but you do not have a ton of stuff so I cheated and I went through and I made my own so I just pulled colors from the kit and I used so you can see that these are familiar these are like paint swatches and little doodle things and the check boxes and the labels so I just pulled colors to make it just so that I had something because this is a hard color palette to find like Amanda because most of my functionals are from Avalon and Ninth and she's super saturated colors which I absolutely love and this is really light almost like a watercolor so this is really hard for me to find um, functionals to go with it in my stash so I, I just made them I just made my own there it is so um, second week this is the second week in August and I'm just gonna start throwing stuff down no foil totally no foil just gonna put this down as is and yeah I'm very excited because I've been kind of waiting, trying to figure out when I wanted to use this kit. August is one of those months where I just don't know. <laughs> it is like a mishmash. I didn't even pull kits to, like I usually pull kits for the month. Um, and I keep them in my little binder and I know ahead of time what I'm going to use. And I pull all like the extra things that I need to pull. Not this time, not this month. I just don't know. I don't know. So I'm just kind of winging it. Then just doing, doing it week by week and seeing what catches my eye and what I what I really love. Um, I did end up, because right now it's kind of like everybody's putting out their fall stuff, so I don't really have um, a huge number of kits for this time of year. I just really didn't buy any because this isn't my favorite time of year. My favorite time of year is um, fall, autumn. So um, anything Halloween, anything fall, anything like orange is my favorite color and um, like the fall colors are my favorite like that whole thing is like that's me to a T I'm one of those people that loves pumpkin um, the pumpkin coffee pump, pumpkin spice lattes I like all that kind of stuff and that's just like that's my vibe so uh, yeah I'm gonna go a little crazy a little crazy this uh, TPC sale <laughs> with all of Hmm, I don't know how I'm going to set this up with all the fall stuff because that is the theme. This this month and last month was all fall and Halloween. So, yeah, I went a little crazy. But it doesn't do me any good in August. So I'm just going to, I think what I want to do, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do because I don't have a ton of functionals. So let's do a center like a center spread and then we'll kind of just work around the center but because we don't have any like super tall uh, functional boxes to work with like I got check boxes I got some doodles and paint swatches so I think if I lay this down across the middle I'll, I will totally it'll be fine the rest of it will be fine but I do want to put one of these guys up here so I think in one of the other plan with me's that I did for Avalon and Ninth, I showed you the sidebars that I picked up from that one place. And I just, the colors are just not for me. So I was kind of debating on making my own sidebar kind of a thing just for me, not to put up in the store with all the things that I actually need in the sidebar so that I don't have to keep like taking from my kits and putting it over here. I'll just like have it over there. But I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Still kicking the idea around. So once again, my Avalon and Ninth planner is fantastic because of these lines. Nothing will be crooked. <laughs> Look at this one with the chair. His little butt up in the air. That reminds me of my of Raina. 
uh, not that she runs around naked or anything, but she loves to get in the chair and do this. She just hangs over the side and I swear she's going to crack her skull open because it's not just the little, like her own little chairs that she does it in. She does it in like the big chairs too. I don't, and she has like no fear, zero fear. And she's, it's not like she hasn't fallen and gotten hurt before. So it's not like she doesn't know that it would hurt if she fell off of that. She just doesn't, just doesn't care. Look at this butt. Look at that butt. That is so stinking cute. Except I can't tell, like, I think I'm on this line. Am I on that line? Pretty close. It's because it's a brand new planner and this side is too low and I didn't bring over my little thing to pop it up. So I'm all discombobulated. Little bees. I want to use every single box, but I don't have room for every single. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Because I'll put one at the bottom of this one and then I can use all of them. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put this one right here at the bottom of here. Because I love the little butt in the box. Then this one. I wish that she would do, Marg would do more kits. I mean, I love all of her little characters, obviously. I mean, I even have the Wacky Holidays, which I'm going to use in this for this week. But, I mean, uh, man, she just does the cutest things. Just the cutest little kits. There. Looks fantastic. I also still have this washi, which has the color palette in it, which I might throw in there. We'll see. We'll see what I end up needing. I'm going to put down... Because I have scripts. I have scripts. Look at this. I came prepared. I am ready. I got it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put down some of the scripts or some areas for some of the scripts to go. But in the meantime, also, side note, I think I finally figured out how to make this work right <laughs> after being angry and irritated at it for like the last two weeks of trying to figure out why everything's being cut so deep. I still stand by the the idea that when they did the latest update that they just like did something to it and now it cut everything cuts too deep all the time. Um, but I finally think I got it. I think I got it figured out. So now all of my stuff is not cut too deep and it's working fine. Um, I wanted to see... Where is it? I know there was one in here. <clears throat> I thought there was one in here, but there isn't. We have, well, I'll use this one. Just so I can remind myself, we have two appointments for the car. We have the Jeep appointment and the Kia appointment to do their maintenance. There's only one car in here. So I'll do that one and then I will just put down like a label. And then I can put the times and the days on that because I don't want to waste my I don't want to waste my space over here with that. So I'm just gonna put it over there. I thought there was something else to put on here for that, but there isn't. Alright. Then oh, I can put these down. Your girl finally decided to start taking her health a little more seriously. So I've been learning how to journal and I've been keeping like uh uh health tracker type of a journal kind of a thing just messing around trying to keep track of stuff so here is where so I've been doing these like uh it's like not a cleanse but it's like a it's like a smoothie type of a thing that but it's got like uh so many vitamins and nutrients in it that uh it's kind of ridiculous but I feel better. I really do. I've been sick for so long and I just, I feel so much better after doing them that, um, you need to do it for three weeks. So I need to keep track of when I do that. And then this is for my B12. So I started also, that was the other thing is I started taking B12 to try and, I wonder how this would look up here. Squirrel. I like that idea. So let's do that. Let's do that. Cause where else am I going to use this? This is one of those things that is not going to match any other kit that I have. So I might as well just use everything that's on here because I will not. I just ripped that. So I will not be able to use it anywhere else. So anyway, so I started using B12. I started doing the, the cleanse thing. So 
I shouldn't call it a cleanse thing. So basically, since I have your attention, and I'll just rattle your ear off about nonsense, but you take, look at this, two of them are done. As Caitlin says, thank you for your service. Um, so you take, uh, I use almond milk. So you take the almond milk and water and strawberries and bananas and then the powder which you get it comes in a big jug and it lasts for the three weeks so you put two scoops of the powder in there and a banana and strawberry and blend it all up and then that's it and then you drink it and you do that just once a day in the morning and then I take my little b12 shot not shot pills my little b12 pills and uh yeah it's fantastic I feel good Let's do this one. Even though I still sound terrible, I feel good. Um, on Monday, so this week ends the seventh, so this will be the eighth. I'm still off until Thursday. I go back to work on Thursday, so we're gonna need to put the labels down for the work days all like Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm gonna do that now before I forget. So we'll use. I use these because it's just going to literally say work. Uh, I don't want that next to that. Maybe that one. So, it, and I'm going to put them in different spots. I know this isn't the same blue. It's really hard when you're using a color picker to grab the right colors. So, it came out a little bit lighter than the actual, but it's okay. I don't mind. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and I'll put the yellow one here. There, there's all my work days all around my artwork. Oh, it looks so cute. I love the way this looks. This is going to be so adorable. Like I said, though, I wish she would do more of these kits because she has like the cutest little character and the artwork is really cute. And I love the ideas that she has, but she just doesn't do that many of them. Um, on Monday, we have, I'll use a, one of these and just write it in here, because we have our game, and then usually on Mondays is when we watch, but we're off on Saturday and Sunday, so I won't be putting down watching the um, UFC fights with Hubby, because we'll watch them actually when they come out, but... Um, I should be watching, if my dates are correct, the Sandman comes out. And so I'm going to be watching the Sandman. And so I'm going to put something down to, if you haven't seen the trailers for that, it looks so good. It's kind of spooky and it's a series. It's not a movie. So if you like kind of spooky series kind of stuff, you should go check out the Sandman. I think you guys would like it. I don't know what I did with my TVs from Planet with Manny. There they are. Oh, that one will match. Look at that. Look at this one's going to match. We're going to use this one right here. Ugh. Best thing ever. So the Sandman that day, we're going to watch that. And then what else do I want on here? So I also want to put down my Wacky Holidays. So this is the 8th. So it's International Cat Day, which is not my thing. I'm not a cat person, but I have a cat because of my son. I am not a cat person. I'm a dog person. I love my puppies. Speaking of puppies, my little, uh, all my dogs are like either rescues or pound puppies. And my, one of my middle aged, how's that? Middle aged? Does that sound right? That's too, that's too big. That's too big. Can't use that. My middle aged little dog, she was jumping up onto the bed the other day. And she, I heard her yelp and I'm like, what the heck did you do? So I came out to see, you know, what the heck she was doing. And ever since then, she's been hobbling. So she's my little three-legged, my little three-legged dog. But she's one of those dogs that has, oh, this one didn't cut all the way through. She's one of those dogs that has like those super long spindly legs. I have no idea what she's mixed with. No clue at all. Like she kind of looks like a... Terrier slash, I'm trying to think of what else she could be, Chihuahua slash, <laughs> I don't even know, I don't know, but she's got these really long kooky legs, and uh, so I think 
that she must have hurt like her knee or something when she j was jumping up on the bed. And like I said, she's middle aged. So yeah, she and she's hamming it up too. Let me tell you, because she'll like sit there and give you doe eyes and make you feel bad so that you carry her around. But then, you know, you pull out a thing of bacon and she's spinning around like a top because she wants the bacon. So yeah, she's a little bit of a fooler, but if she doesn't start, stop hobbling here pretty soon, I'm gonna have to take her to the vet. And then the other big dog, that's my old lady. She uh, has like this autoimmune disease. And so she's supposed to be on medication like for the rest of her life to keep that under control. And let me, she's just being such a pain in the neck with these new pills. She will not take them. It does not matter what we do. She just won't, she just won't take them. So she's another one that I'm like, I'm not sure what we're going to do with, because if she won't take the pills, eventually, you know, the autoimmune disease that she has is going to kill her. So that's a whole nother thing. So pets, man, sometimes your pets are more trouble than your children. Just saying. I'm going to put down a little checkbox down here so I can keep track of all the good stuff. So this is the week of the sale, which of course, this is my work week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the sale starts Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So <laughs> I will not be processing any orders until Monday, but that is okay because I'm usually pretty quick about processing with my orders and getting them out pretty fast. At least I think I am. I feel like I am. So I don't really think that me working those days is going to make that much of a difference in my my times. As a matter of fact, the website is always like saying, are you sure your processing times are correct? Because I get them out way faster than what it says on the thing. But I don't want to change it just in case something happens, you know, so I leave it with kind of the longer processing times. Um, I like these, but none of them really apply to me. So I don't really know what to do with them. The laundry, isn't there a laundry one on here? Am I looking right at it? Mm, no, grocery shopping, which we're gonna do that on Wednesday. So I'll put that down here because we go back to work on Thursday. So we always go grocery shopping, gas up the car on Wednesdays. And then laundry day would be Tuesday. There's no laundry. Oh, there it is. See, it seems like a silly thing to have to write down, but I still write it down. There's that. And then I love these International Cat Day. I want to make sure I have places for all this stuff. So I want to put them like this will work. And since it's the same artist, it has that same style of artwork. So it's really, really cute. Um, and then here we want to do some type of either a paint swatch or a bubbly box. How about a bubble box? And I'm going to try to use this. So I think if I use this because I have the matching, I know it's going to probably look weird for right now, but I'm going to use all three of them in different boxes. But I have um, her little character, her little, little character sheets with different ones, including the the booty one, the bootyful one. And so I was thinking, put a little character right here, and then I can write my little notes of whatever. So even though it's kind of weird having these like smaller boxes in here, here let's put it. Let's do this. Let's do something else at the top of that. Uh, let's put one of these. We'll do this yellow one up there and then this so a little character sticker right here and then you can write in the little box i think that'll look cute that will be perfect and then we can put this anyway that's work day there's a couple of these in here which i guess i could use i like the little weekend banner too it's cute it's technically not my weekend though because I'm at work so um, put one of these right above it in case I've got some kind of script or something that I want to put in there <clears throat> and there's this little yellow one which we could put over on the other side 
with I don't, I don't know why I feel like the need to label my check boxes with stuff but there's that and then these guys are so singing cute but I absolutely hate these <laughs> I hate check like check things like this if you notice in all my kits I have none I have none but the little character on the top makes me want to use it but I don't want to use it because I don't like it you know what, I'm going to save these for, um, I can use them in my journal for when I'm like writing down stuff that I feel like I need to put in there for my wellness journal. And I'll use that, especially if I need to like, I've been tracking sleep. Uh, I've been tracking weight. I've been tracking, um, like I said, like the stuff that I've, I've, uh, the shakes to make sure that I take the, you know, I stay on track because you do a th three weeks of the shake and then you're off of it. And if I don't pay attention, I'll just keep going and I'll take the shake forever. <laughs> and you're supposed to take breaks from it. You're not supposed to take it every single day for like with no breaks. You're supposed to stop too much. Put it up top. So I've been tracking that. What else have I been tracking? Food. I try to track food, but that just depresses me because I, I, I like ice cream. I do. I like ice cream. Um, I like treats. I like candy, you know, and it's hard for me to track, you know, if I start tracking that stuff, then I feel bad. And then, you know, I don't want to feel bad. So I, I haven't really been tracking the food, but I do write down what we eat for our meals um, for two reasons. One is so that I know what I'm doing grocery shopping wise, but also so I can kind of keep track of the kind of like healthy versus non-healthy stuff that I've been eating. That makes sense the other day uh i <laughs> i got this recipe off of pinterest and pinterest usually doesn't steer me wrong usually if i find something on pinterest uh a recipe that i'm like oh that sounds really good and all the ingredients sound good i will pick it up make it and it's usually a big hit so there, there were these um it was a steak with those little potatoes, the little yellow potatoes in foil. And it was got garlic and all kinds of spices and oregano and thyme and all kinds of stuff. And then you put it in the foil packet and then you put it out on the grill and you cook it, right? That uh, makes sense. That's what you do. Um, I It was so gross. <laughs> it was so bad. It was, oh my gosh, it was so bad. So it basically reminded me of um boiled meat like I boiled it and it was <laughs> I mean my family ate it because you know they're hungry and you know they'll eat they're hungry but it was so gross and I felt so bad and I was like ready to order a pizza so yeah it totally s steered me wrong I'm gonna give it one more shot I have another recipe I'm gonna try on probably one either Monday or Tuesday I guess it depends on how much time I have so either Monday or Tuesday we'll try it and it is um uh, barbecue bourbon is that how you say it bourbon chicken and it's on little skewers goes out on the barbecue and it's got like this it's, it's so it's gonna sound really bad it's gonna sound really unhealthy but I promise it's probably not that it's probably not that bad like when you look at the calories and all that it's not that bad it just sounds bad but it's got like a bacon paste <laughs> And you like smear the bacon paste over it and then you uh, skewer it on the shish kebab skewers and then you put it out on the grill. I want another checkbox here because I know I'm going to have stuff I need to be doing. So I'm going to put this one here. Even though I've got one, I don't like that. I hate it when I have like the same thing right next to each other. It's like, it's like a weird little cork of mine. Uh, yep, so we're not going to do it. I can do it. I'll just put one of these boxes in there. Oh, this one will work because it's big enough. Oh, see, little bugs coming in to hang out with me as usual. There's that. Living in the woods. If you don't like bugs, don't move to the woods because that is their home. I like this blue one. This blue one will look nice here. Anyway, so the bourbon chicken sounds really good. And like I said, it's my son is very excited for it because he's a bacon, he's a bacon freak. He loves bacon. And so he's very excited to try the bacon wrapped, not bacon wrapped. It's like a paste and it's smeared into the chicken. Sounds amazing. 
almost done almost done guys and put one little glitter header right here of green and then i have one little spot down here that needs something and it's going to end up being probably one of these does that think that'll fit i think that'll fit green one still have some extra boxes i didn't even have to use all these other ones that were my own almost had enough look there's still this stuff left over so i still have a few things here but i'm still i think that's enough on here i don't have any room for anything else so now we'll put the rest of these in we have national book lovers day on the 10th so 8 9 10 so let's put that where do we want it we're gonna put it right here cute oh wait where's this one That's this day. Oh no. Well, well, those are gonna get switched. <laughs> I always do that. I always mess it up. Oh, and I forgot to put in the box there. Hold on. Hold on. You think this will fit? Oh, uh, just about. And then Lion Day can go right there. Cute. All right, Lion Day, Book Lovers Day, then Hip Hop Day is the 11th we'll put it over the paint swatch and then elephant day is the 12th it's going to be fun trying to figure out what days that i want to do because there's all kinds of different stuff that you can pick from left handers day so when my daughter and i sit down and figure out what wacky holidays i want her to draw it's going to be fun she's probably going to want to kill me but it's going to be fun. There's calligraphy day. Okay, so there's all that. Then I have these, which I pulled. Um, I don't know if I, where I'm going to put them or what's going on with them. So I'm probably not going to put any of them down just yet. But look how stinking cute these are. When you're not feeling good and laundry and binge watching. So this is going to be a good one to go here for um, um, the Sandman. I also watched Midnight Mass, which I know has been out for a while, but I finally watched it. Watched it. Look at that cute, adorable. That's River City stickers, and I have a huge order in with River, C River City stickers because I love her little characters. So I'm probably going to replace that with that because holy crap, that's adorable. And then my phone calls, stuff like that. So I'm going to leave these and then put them in as I actually start planning this week because we're still in the week before um so i don't want to put any of them down yet until i actually start planning them but how stinking cute is this it is so stinking adorable i absolutely love it love 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 i hope you guys had a fantastic time hanging out with me today i know i'm pretty boring but you know uh thanks so much for hanging out with me stopping by planning with me and i will talk to you again on the next one have a great day bye